Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Jen and this is Wine and Color. I post videos um, mostly of adult coloring. I do show you like coloring books and do color with me's. Um, and then I also incorporate a little bit of wine um, reviews and recommendations. Um, now last week, I posted a video of my adult coloring book collection. And so in today's video, I am going to show you guys my coloring supplies collection. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps out my channel. Now first I'm going to start with the stuff that I am currently using. Um, so I have these two pencil cases here. Um, this one right here is empty right now, but I kind of wanted to show it to you guys because I love it. Um, it has three zippers. Um, I got this at Target, I believe, but it's perfect for like if you have three projects going, um, you can just separate them by using these. And then my other one I have is this one. Just one zipper. Um, but I have two projects in here right now, I believe. Um, this is, yeah, these ones I rubber banded together, and then there's these ones. I think these ones right here were for my journal pages. There's like one gel pen in here. Um, and then these ones might have been for like a Golden Girls page that I've been working on. And then I have my little toolbox here of gel pen. I got this at Hobby Lobby. I absolutely love this. So on top, I have my little stickies here um, to mark the pages once I complete them. And I've been using them also um, for pages that I want to complete. And then these are the gel pens um, for the current page that I am working on right now. And then like if I add in another color, I would put it in here that way I know and go back to my colors. And yep, that just comes out. And then here's all my other gel pens. So this was one whole set of gel pens that I have in here. I think I have a couple extras, like this one um, doesn't belong with this set. Um, but I just threw it in here. But yeah, there's all of these. You guys can kind of see in here. So this was a hundred piece set. And I actually have a backup of this set I will be showing you guys. Um, but it is Master's Touch. It's from Hobby Lobby. I love those gel pens. I'm trying to use up some of these gel pens before I dive in to the other ones in my collection or open any other packages. So I'm going to start off with the rest of it showing you guys my colored pencils. And we have this whole bin here. This is a bin that um, I keep upstairs in my dining room with some coloring supplies that I use. Now, typically I actually color and film up in my dining room, but today you'll see it's a little bit different. So I got this table for Christmas and I set it up downstairs and I made a little like crafting thing because I do scrapbooking um, and I'm getting into diamond painting and all that. So, um, yeah, I made this little setup. It's my first time filming down here. So, I'm enjoying it so far. <laughs> uh, and then this would be because, oh my gosh, my coloring stuff was just like everywhere. So, I was like, I need like a certain spot to keep the stuff that I don't use every day. <laughs> so, all right, my coloring pencils. Here's a coloring pencil case that I have. Just got this for Christmas and I love it. So, it has three zippers here. And I have um, Artist Loft color pencils in here. I think it's a Michaels brand. I think I got them from Michaels. I also think, I don't know like how many came in this set, but I think it might be two different sets because some of them, I've had these for so long. Some of them are in gold writing, some of them are in the white. And then some of them have the same colors. Um, like they're called the same color, but they're actually like slightly different. <laughs> so... I have them all sorted by color here and then this set is just a metallic set um, by it's just called the fine touch I think I got that at Michaels as well and then I have one lonely Prismacolor pencil just because I wanted this color um, so I bought a single so that's 
Well, I have two sets of colored pencils, I guess, but that's my only, like, name brand one, I guess you want to say. Um, I really do want to get a set of, like, Arteza's or, um, Prismacolor's or something. <laughs> so my other set of colored pencils were my very first set I have in this little box here. Um, but these are just called Top Quality Art Supplies. So there's no... Um, color names on them, so that makes it a little bit difficult. And they're kind of hard to pick up because they're in this hexagon shape. <laughs> but these are nice, like, beginner pencils. They're not horrible. I, I don't use a lot of colored pencils to begin with, um, just because, um, I just hate having to, like, sharpen and sharpen and sharpen and then... Sometimes you get a pencil where like the lead keeps breaking off and then they're not as vibrant as using marker or gel pen. So, but I still like colored pencils and I really want to practice with them more with shading because I know you can do more techniques with colored pencils. Alright, so, and oh, I got actually one more, I have a couple more colored pencils. <laughs> So I have this Crayola one. I haven't even um, got into this yet, but there's 50 colors. So I really got to use these because these look really nice. But yeah, they're just they're the rounded ones, um, and they have the colors right on them. That says jade green. Ooh. See, there's one in here already that's gonna need to be sharpened because the lead broke. <laughs> So, but yeah, there's all the colors. It's so easy to collect supplies. Just, just as easy as coloring books. <laughs> Especially, like, it always goes on sale. And, oh yeah. Um, and then, because I have these two, I haven't even opened these. These are Black Widow, um, the skin tone ones. So, I have the light tones and the dark tones. But, yeah, they're still in the plastic. I got this to help me color people. Oh. Alright, so that is it for the colored pencils. So now I'm going to get into the regular markers. Um, I have, these are my first set right here. They're probably starting to get dried out. Um, but these are Crayola markers. Um, they're just, what are they called? just Crayola signatures. So they're double-sided, um, and I think the size, they're both different colors. Um, yeah, so there's like the brush tip, and then there's the fine point, or bullet, whatever you wanna call that one. But I do really like these. I've done a few pictures with them. I just haven't, I'm really into color, so um, because there's not as many colors, I haven't used the set that much, and I actually forgot about them. I used to carry my colored pencils in here, and then I switched it back to this case. This, I believe this is the case that they came in. So, Alright, and then my other set of markers are these, the Cali Art 72 markers. I love these ones. I love the case that they come in, where well, there's all these different colors. My grandma bought these for me. I like the size of them and everything. So they have, they're double-ended as well. There's the brush tip. And then the fine tip. Which these ones, the fine tip is super fine. So I've never actually used that part. But yeah. Oops. All right, and then we'll go to my, let's see, yep, we did colored pencils, we did markers, we can do alcohol markers. Um, this was my first set of alcohol, <laughs> alcohol markers, 24 colors. Um, I got these, I believe, at Hobby Lobby just when they were on sale because I wanted to test them out. So I didn't get a whole lot of colors. I wish I would have now, but I do like these. Um, my only complaint is I don't like the thickness of the, the marker. Like, yeah, it's just... But they're nice. The bullet, ooh, and then chisel side. So both the points are kind of thicker as well. There's no fine point with these. 
but they're nice. Definitely good for a beginner. And then my other set of alcohol markers, it's not all the way zipped up, but my Tao Tree markers, 101 colors. I love these markers, love them. And I think that right now they're actually on sale on Amazon. So, so yeah, I love like the size of them. This is like the perfect size. Um, and then there's the broad tip and the fine tip. So, and then all of the colors, they don't have names, but they have um, numbers on them. So yeah, that is my set of towel tree markers. And now getting into gel pens. Gel pens are my absolute favorite to color with. Um, so I'll show you the ones that I had in my toolbox. Um, this is how they come. So, yep, it's a 100-piece set. Um, they have, let's see, there's metallic, pastel, basic, swirl and fluorescent, and glitter gel pens. So, and I always buy these when they go on sale. They usually go like 50, 40% off. Um, and they just come in these little, these little plastic sleeves. Sorry, my throat is just like really dry. It's early in the morning. anymore <laughs> so yeah lots of gel pens and that's why I think by making myself um, use what's in my toolbox first go through as much as that it'll help me use colors that I don't generally go towards because I tend to want to use the same gel pens over and over the same color <laughs> so because yeah that's a lot all right, and then I have 32 count of Cali Art gel pens. I've used these a little bit, but I and I do absolutely love them. I think I've been buying like the smaller packs of gel pens just to have like some extras of like general colors, like the main colors. Um, but it is highly recommended that you always go for the biggest set. That way you get more variety of color because if you buy, like I saw another YouTuber talk about it and I didn't even think about it. But if you buy like the 32 piece set of like Cali Art or Tan Mint or whatever, this like the 32 count of whatever gel pens, you're always going to continuously get the same colors. So if you shoot for like the 100 pack or the 120 pack, you're always going to get a variety of colors. So, because they generally put the same colors, you know, in the smaller packs. So, that's some good advice. <laughs> um, these four colors right here always stand out to me. They're the pastel ones, but I think they're so pretty. Like, I want to do one picture with just the four of these. I think that'd be really pretty. And then, I forgot to show, I have smaller packs um, because they had gone on sale. So, I got them for like five bucks each. But the smaller packs of my big pack that I have of Master's Touch. So, like I said, these would just be the general colors. Um, so, this is like glitter ink, the pastel, and the neon. And then it's the main one. So, it's just like one yellow, one orange, one pink, one blue, and so forth. Dark blue, light blue. Yeah. I already had to get into this one because I ran out of a color that I was using. And luckily, it was in that pack. All right, and then I have these tan mint ones I had to put in here. I don't know what I did with the thing it came in. Um, but I kept this so I would remember 36 piece and whatnot. Um, but I really love these as well. And I got these like on a flash sale. I can't remember how much they were, but it was a good deal. I love how these ones and the Cali Art, they have this um, like finger gripper thing on them. And I love that. So yeah, I haven't used these as much either. I just put them in here for now. So yeah, there's those. Um, I have a couple more things to show you guys. So I have, let's see, the Fila Value Pack of gel pens. Um, this is 360 um, gel pens or whatnot, but it's actually 180. It's just 180 
um, different colors and then they give you a refill of each one. So I have not used these yet. I just got this for Christmas. Um, I was thinking of doing a video of reviewing this and trying them out. So I'm super excited because 180 colors, that's 80 more colors than my original gel pen pack. <laughs> I noticed I see some reds in here, but red gel pens seem to be like very few. They just don't have a lot of red gel pens, I guess. Because there was a color that, I, or there was a, a page that I was coloring once and I needed like different kinds of reds and I had a hard time finding some. All right, the last thing, yep, I'm on my last thing here, is my pastels. So I bought these just to try some pastels for backgrounds, um, and I absolutely love these. These are by Master's Touch, again, I love Hobby Lobby, that's where I get these. <laughs> um, but yeah, they just look like this. So we've got colors of the rainbow here. And those of you who don't like aren't familiar with pastels, because I was looking up how to do like an easy kind of background. Uh, it's basically just like chalk. Um, it just comes like this, and you just like rub on the background, and then I take like a <clears throat> like a Kleenex or something, and just kind of rub it all over. But yeah. So yeah, if you guys stuck around with me this long, thank you guys so much. <laughs> um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and don't forget to give me that thumbs up if you did. Um, leave me a comment down below what you guys think I should try, like what your favorite gel pens are, what your favorite markers or colored pencils are, and you think that I should get. Um, don't forget, I post on Wednesdays and Sundays now. So, looking forward to another video on Sunday. I have a lot of ideas. Um, yeah, and I hope to see you guys all in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope everyone has a blessed day. Bye.